Remember back in the day when you looked forward to reading the Sunday funnies? And you may recall one of the more popular comics was Nancy. Well, things have changed a bit, but cartoons are still very popular. So when one internationally known cartoonist stopped by a Smith County school, he drew quite a crowd, as you'll see in tonight's School Patrol. Hearing the laughter of the kids and seeing the kids' eyes light up. Here at New Middletown Elementary School. Everybody here hates cartoons, right? Yay! Yay! Students gather clutching pencils and paper in their hands. Don't draw anything. I'm just going to warm up, okay? They're here to join a club. I pledge allegiance to never, ever, ever having fun, ever. Not exactly. <laughs> oh. Good. Right now, they're sitting at the feet of the master. I promise that's going to be the only mistake I will make all day. The master cartoonist. My characters are on your TV sets. His name is Guy Gilchrist. You read my comics on the web. You see my cartoons in books and stuff. He's the author and cartoonist for the iconic Nancy comic strip. You get it. He's also responsible for drawing a lot of other pretty important characters. Oh, you've heard of them? I'm so surprised. No surprise here. Jerry, come back. There's Tom and Jerry. No, you're being eaten by the evil cat. No, Teenage Jerry. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Cowabunga, dude. Muppet Babies. Everybody knows Beaker, right? And, of course, Nancy. Everyone say, I love cartoons. <laughs> Awesome! Also awesome. Batman is the easiest character in the world to draw. Teaching the students to draw a superhero. Even easier if you draw him upside down. We draw a mountain. I take a moon and I split it in half. Jaw, the ears, and the mouth, and then you flip it around, it's just Batman. I love watching their reaction. They're like, oh. I can't, I can't draw Batman. Those came out so great, you guys. Just to think about the shapes and instead of like the lines on the paper. He even got a certain reporter involved. Now we're going to put another bump on our rock. Is this right? We put a hole in the bump? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. But he's not here just to share his skills. You guys need to teach what you know about making the world a better place. What do you think? Recycle, that's a really, really good one. They learned more about recycling in Tennessee. If we keep recycling. The lesson didn't end there. Say it out louder. Be thankful. I like that a lot. When we were talking about what we can do to make the world a better place. She said, be thankful. How awesome is that? Gilchrist said his perspective changed when he met one of his heroes, Dr. Seuss. He said, if you have a dream and all you do is sit around on your rear end all day, you'll get nothing. But if you get up and go do something about it, then you'll get everything. You all were awesome. Give yourselves a really big hand. That was a fun time. The program featuring the world-renowned artist was co-sponsored by the Tennessee Department of Transportation.